buenos días a todos, buenos, eh, bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Nina Martínez, soy la responsable de, de I más de de OAFI. Un placer estar aquí con vosotros. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Nina Martinez. I'm the head of the R&D department of OAFI, and it's a pleasure being here with you. So today we are going to talk about the task force that is, well, it's an alliance between the most important association of patients with rheumatoid problem, problem, sorry, in order to work together globally with a focus on osteoarthritis. So we are working with the um, uh, Panlar Association, that is the, um, are you? Okay, <laughs> sorry for that. Um, I continue, okay? Uh, the Panlar, that is uh, the alliance between all the association in all America. Uh, North America, Middle America, and South America. Also, we are working with the Arthritis Foundation, that is the um, uh, United States, sorry, uh, Foundation of, uh, of Arthritis, AVLAR, that we have the pleasure today to be. Ah, oh, okay, we found them. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So we have the pleasure today to be with the president of AFLAR, Francois Alliot, and, the, and one patient of the association, that is Claude Jandlar. And we are going to explain to you about our last actions. So um, we are working also with the Portuguese association, with the Belgium, the Netherlands, and the Italian one. So here is a video that the president of the Panlar sent us. So um, I think if I, oh yeah, oh no, now, yeah. I am Miguel Albanese, president of Panlar. Dear friend Joseph, I am sending my greetings and good hope in the framework of the sixth Wafi Congress. After observing the excellent program with a high level of speakers where the last of osteoarthritis is put to point. I'm sure that after this event, we are going to have more trained people in our subject of the study. From Panla, I wish you a su success and greet all participants wishing the best for all of you. Thank you. Good Congress. See you soon. <laughs> So what are our objectives of the task force? So first, we support health authority about osteoarthritis. Also, uh, we uh, talk with different medical societies to support them. And also, we participate in clinical trials and in R&D. Also, we perform surveys, focus group um, review articles. And this is because we want to provide information to worldwide patients. Uh, for example, these are, these are two of the latest publications that we did last year. Uh, the, f the first one in the left is a review about the quality of life, because this is a topic that there are no so much research uh, on it. And the other one is a survey about how the patient perceives uh, uh, the osteoarthritis. Um, they are available online, so if you want to read them, you can search it. Then we are, this is a very good initiative that we are working like um, two months ago, it's really new, and this is a European, um, European uh, phone that uh, help us to, con to connect initiatives across Europe and beyond and this uh, enables researchers and innovation to grow their ideas. This is uh, help us to build, to, sorry, to build uh, the European Society of Osteoarthritis and therefore to uh, expand and increase the number of associations in our task force. So now I give the word to Francoise. He is going to explain another action that we did this year. So go ahead, Francois, thank you. 
No sé. Ah, ah gracias Nina y gracias uh, Josep por estar junto a grandes espe especialistas y pacientes españolas. Um, what, uh, what we did for Osteoarthritis Day, because it was the first great action together with ORFI and AFLAR. Uh, the reason is uh, disseminate accessible and uh, clear and precise scientific information in the world, if it could, possible, could be possible, and provide uh, an overview of current and future prevention. It's very important, of course, uh, about arthrosis. Uh, future prevention options and treatments. And, of course, address patients' uh, concern. So, it was a great pleasure to, to work for this World Arthritis uh, Day together. Uh, what is AFLAR? Uh, it's uh, the French uh, Patients Association in, uh, in France for more than uh, a, 80 uh, years. AFLAR has acted uh, to achieve the major objectives uh, to, f of, to fight the fight against rheumatism uh, disease, especially arthrosis. We are the only one association in France uh, 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 to speak and to fi fight uh, for uh, arthrosis. Uh, we, uh, our objectives are raise general awareness to inform about the impact of uh, such disease beyond the cliches. Uh, it's to improve the quality of care by transmitting uh, savoir-faire and faire savoir to <laughs> savoir-faire and ensuring health uh, professionals training. Uh, also help patients is our first mission is to help patients live better with the disease and be part of the health process. It's very important uh, this part of uh, action of AFLAR. And make governments and decision makers, politic makers, fully understand uh, and realize the human, the social, and uh, uh, the heart uh, of disease, especially arthrosis. arthrosis. Um, Claude, now, if you want to, to, to speak about the fight of Aflar, oh, I, I, I just have to, yes, I just have to speak uh, because the, the association against uh, arthrosis and again rheumatism are important in El Mondo, El, El Mondo, El Mondo. El mondo. Uh, y, uh, uh, en Francia y en España, España Italy, Australia, uh, I have heard uh, especialistas hablando uh, de esta, uh, de esta uh, problema. Sí, gracias, uh, Josep. Los, las asocia asociaciones de pacientes con artrosis de todo el mundo, como he dicho, se unen por el Día Mundial de la Artrosis. La artrosis que afecta en el mundo. Y en Francia, 11 millones, he eh, eh, comprendido, he eh, entendido, 7. Sí, mínimamente 7. Sí. Porque si contamos la gente que no tiene síntomas, nos iríamos a 14 o 15. Eh. Sí. Pero 7 millones, seguro. Sí. Sí, uh, y, uh, se prevé que, que llegue a los millones, 60 millones de afectados en, uh, en el mundo en mul multi años. Sí, no, about sí bueno, de, sí, sí. Eh, de hecho, eh, 
estamos hablando de que realmente ya, según el Lancet, pues uh, hay 500 millones de personas afectadas con artrosis, 500 millones, y uh, se prevé que en el, ya en el, en el 2030 sí. se puede doblar la población, ¿eh? o sea que es, es un tsunami. O sea, hay mucha gente con artrosis y tenemos que prevenirla. Sí. Uh, sabemos que esta patología uh, es la primera cosa de invalidez, dolor, Uh, sofrancia, sofrancia física, sofrancia y uh, mental, sofrancia también. Uh, en los uh, países industrializados y uh, la más generalizada de los enfermedades articulares. So, es un problema muy importante uh, por pacientes y todo por las especialidades que trabajan eh, en este problema, como a Nina, gracias Nina, y como Josep, y como Javier, y eh, eh, los que, eh, eh, que ha eh, hablado, hablado ahora. Las asociaciones de pacientes eh, se han unido, como me ve, Uh, unido este uh, 7 de septiembre para uh, denunciar la absencia, la ausencia, ausencia de una estratégica terapéutica para el tratamiento, tratamiento de la enfermedad y lanzar una serie uh, de acciones para actuar contra el Elia, uh, I am very glad uh, for this union, of course, because I think it's very important uh, to fight again atrocities in our uh, countries and in Mondo. Gracias, muchas gracias uh, a Josep Verges y a Nina, a la OAFI Foundation, because I think we are uh, continuing to fight uh, against yeah. arthrosis yeah. together. Yeah. See, si, Josep. We, we, well, first of all, your, your Spanish is so good, huh? No. Yeah, yeah. I think, thank you for your, your not to speak your Spanish, that it's uh, good. And, uh, you know, and I, I'm happy that uh, to stay with you, uh, you know, and uh, I think it's very important that uh, the patients uh, take the, you know, the responsibility in this feeling. We speak this morning about that. And uh, I think uh, working together with AFLAR, we are very happy because we did a lot of things that now we can explain. Um, and I think it's a, a good success uh, to work together for proximity and also because uh, France, uh, you know, is one of the most important countries. And, and in, in fact, uh, the, tomorrow there is a, a table from the contraprotection and uh, one of the countries that they started to speak about that is France, yes. because the school of rheumatologists, the, you know, the physiotherapist is so good. And, and I think it's, uh, well, uh, we are happy to work together with, with mm -hmm. Aflar, uh, you know, Nina and the... Yeah, uh, now Claude is going, yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, you can... Okay. Yeah, to yes. explain better what we do together. Um, Okay, hello. I don't speak Spanish, <laughs> but I speak English. Uh, yes, I came uh, in uh, 2019, uh, you know, as a member of the Congress, and I was given a very hearty welcome, and we started a collaboration that is going very well. And Dr. Verges came to Paris, and we had discussions there, and now we have a very close relationship and we have lots of projects. I am a patient. I have very little to do with the medical world, but I do have OA, so <laughs> that's one reason why I belong to this association. And I will tell you a few things about AFLA. Uh, first of all, this is a very well-known association in France uh, because it informs about the, um, the severity of osteoarthritis. Uh, there are more and more people affected by disability, pain, cardiovascular risk, 
and our quality of life has been reduced. Second, AFLA has a very important role in conducting surveys on the findings and the feelings of patients. We have a magazine and we have a couple of French leaflets at your disposal after that. And we understand the situation of OA patients and we promote the expectations and needs of patients. Third, we conduct a lot of research work with scientific societies and patients. We have some doctors associated with us and we generate knowledge of the disease and treatments and demonstrate the usefulness and effectiveness of current treatments. AFLAR works with the authorities in institutions. They provide concrete information on the severity of OA, treatments, and the cost of the disease. Five, AFLAR carries out information campaigns aimed at the general public and patients. For example, to make the symptoms of the disease better known to be diagnosed earlier. And finally, AFLAR uses and develops information systems to communicate with patients, for example, OAFI radio. We do have roundtables and we have programs and we have an online service where people can call and get information on the disease. Mm -hmm. Finally, mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, dear Claude, dear delegate mm -hmm. of patience, of course, it's very uh, important. And I thank you so much uh, to work with us and with ORAFI uh, Foundation, of course. Uh, so, uh, during this year, uh, in fact, uh, we have been working, as you know, together for the fund of osteoarthritis treatments, especially chondrosulf and glucosamine in France. In France, they are not reimbursed, so they are not well known by the medical doctors, and they don't think about uh, these uh, molecules. So it's really a pity. And, uh, Cardiovascular disease uh, and cardiovascular risk factors, I say, Josep and uh, Javier, are very common in osteoarthritis patients, uh, usually due uh, to the advanced age of the patient, but not, not, uh, not the, the only reason, uh, but also due uh, to obesity and perhaps inflammatory factors uh, in osteoarthritis, in arthritis. Uh, I think it's a very important uh, thing. You agree. And in fact, during the Congress, we did some tables speaking about the comorbidities uh, between, uh, between uh, you know, OA and cardiovascular issues. And I think this is a very important topic, uh, you know, in order to, to improve the quality of life and, and the problems, because normally, uh, normally it's not taking you know, the, the charts about that. And I think it's very important, no? I completely agree yes. With completely agree with you. Yes. Uh, 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 for example, for instance, uh, we see that person we are, uh, uh, with obesity uh, develop uh, uh, arthrosis of the hands, but not... not uh, yes, not in the joint legs, because a theory is, uh, uh, says that cyt cytokines, cellular cytokines, are able to produce, uh, to produce arthrosis. I agree. I agree with you. She's, she's saying one important issue is that normally we know very well that the osteoarthritis, the obesity, can produce uh, knee osteoarthritis. Huh? I think this is, this is clear, but at the same time, uh, people that have, uh, you know, obesity has more risk that has hand OA. You say, well, the hand, they don't have problems because they don't suffer the overweight that, you know, happen in the knees, no? But uh, we don't know why, but it's true that if you reduce the, the weight, of course you reduce the, the you know, the, the, 
the, the, the pain and the mobility of, of the knee, but at the same time of, of, the, of the hand, of the fingers, no? And I think it's that you're trying to say, no? To explain, no? Yeah, uh, Absol absolutely, Josef. So it's a problem when we are working uh, in that dimension so, uh, of, this, uh, of this aspect of, of arthrosis, right. yes. Uh, osteoarthritis patients routinely use anti-inflammatory drugs, but when these drugs are used by uh, cardiovascular risk patients for long periods of time and at high doses, the risk of developing cardiovascular disease increases exponentially and also uh, Josep, renal, renal uh, uh, disease, uh, disease too. So, anti-inflammatory drugs may be dangerous. Yes, especially in chronic disease. I could absolutely agree. I think it's uh, very important to take care about that because the side effects, not only cardiovascular problems, but renal problems. Uh, in mm -hmm. Spain, I remember some years ago, it was the, a lot of people that have renal transplantation uh, the first cause, the first cause. Uh, that NSH produce uh, renal failure uh, in Spain some years ago. I mean, this is a very important issue. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, so cardiovascular risk, failure, and renal risk and failure. So uh, we have uh, the opportunity to work together and uh, uh, to explain the great role of uh, uh, chondrosulf and glucosamine too. And uh, uh, from a, a cardiovascular perspective, and also renal perspective, as we said, chondroitin sulfate and glucosamine are safe medications for osteoarthritis patients. So we recommend uh, to treat patients with uh, that molecules. But in France, as I say, these molecules are not reimbursed and they are not prescribed by medical doctors. Though so it's a great pity for patients because it's a lot loss of chance. You can explain, you can explain that the more that we did. No, no, we are going. I know, you, you later, <laughs> yeah. perfect, perfect. Okay, so. Okay. So, uh, as recent data suggests that uh, uh, chondrosulf uh, uh, and the glucosamine uh, use is associated with a reduced risk of acute myocardial infarctus, infarctus and ischemic stroke, ictus, as say uh, Josef, of course. So now you said you can explain what we did. Uh. Um, well, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, in France, like in Spain, uh, this is a very bad disease. We don't have too much treatment available. Uh, don't forget that it's a chronic disease. That means that uh, we don't have too much treatments. And uh, when we contact, because they help to us in Spain to, to maintain the reimbursement of this drug, uh, at the same, we did the same with, with uh, Aflar, no? Yeah. And uh, we explain about this new data uh, that we have uh, coming from the, that from the Spanish Agency of Drugs and from the University of uh, Alcalá de Henares and the Hospital Principe de Asturias, working with rheumatologists and clinical pharmacologists together. We explain this data and uh, we prepare a meeting with the uh, Autorité de Santé that in France is like we say in Spain, Dirección General de Farmacia y Productos Sanitarios. Uh, we prepared the meeting, and thanks to, 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 to you know, for, for Aflar, to, to Francine, uh, they accept to have the meeting soon. I remember that we, we sent the letter in one week. In one week, say, okay, we can have the meeting in one week. That it was in August, say, well, we are in vacations in August, no? <laughs> we can wait in September, and we did the meeting in September with the responsible from, uh, from uh, reimbursement in France. No? And they, they, they say that very interesting data and they can analyze. And I think they, they have probably in favor to be, uh, you know, approved the reimbursement in, 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 in France. Because chondrosulfate in France uh, is, uh, you know, it's a drug, but it's not reimbursed. 
okay? and, uh, and probably with the data that you have, and we hope working together, uh, next year will be reimbursed. And uh, this is very important, especially for elderly people that they don't have money to pay the, the treatment. In this case, it's not expensive, because it's not expensive treatment, no? But I think, uh, I think uh, it's important that this kind of patient, they can have this kind of product. Because in, in France, like in Spain, the quantity sulfate is, is drug. That is very important, because it's not the same a drug that a nutraceutical product, okay? That is another important issue to explain that the data that we, we, we did in Spain, with the Agency of Drugs in Spain, was the, the, the treatment as a drug. We don't know what happened in the nutraceutical area. This is a very important uh, to, to explain about that. Is the drug that is approved in Spain, no? And I think, uh, I think it's a very important success because this is one of the things that are very important that to be work together, the, 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 the patients' associations, no? And I can tell you that, uh, because I know very well the FLAR, they are doing an excellent work. For us, you know, it's an example because they have a lot of information that, that you know, Claude explained to the patients' calls and everything, the support to them. Like we are doing also in Spain, the area of Maria Teresa, no? that is also answer questions, uh, making activities, and I think this is the way uh, to improve the disease. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Joseph, uh, with your team. And Nina, you went uh, in Paris to work uh, together with the French authorities about chondrosulf and glucosamine too. Uh, and I, I know, uh, you know, we have a, a great fight, perhaps to obtain reimbursement. Uh, even we don't obtain it, we have hope, of course, to obtain it. But if we don't, uh, we have uh, a good work, a great work, uh, to faire savoir, faire savoir faire, and to faire savoir with, with OAFI and AFLA together, and uh, uh, to faire savoir to the patients and also to the communities of uh, health professionals too. Uh, to know uh, best knowledge about these molecules. I think it will be very important. I, I, I completely agree with you, and we, and we will do it. It's yes. our work, and you mm -hmm. know, as a patient's association, we, we will do it. Yes, uh, and I want really to, to thank you for, for, no, this, no. Uh, for this great work, and to thank mm -hmm. you to Nina and the team, and Monse, Maria Teresa too, mm -hmm. uh, and to all of you. It's a pleasure, <laughs> it's a pleasure to work for you. Well, Nina, something else? Uh, I don't know if we are going good on time because we have some minutes for questions, so we continue with the next talk. Uh, yeah? Ah, mira. No, and there is another question. Uh, I, I have a, a question. <laughs> Hola? Hola? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for your participation. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's a pleasure to, to, to be here, and thank you very much. Uh, I, I have a little uh, question to, to you, uh, Josep. <laughs> yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Um, um, what do you think that, uh, how, how many uh, uh, papers do you think uh, are from the enormous scientific production of uh, publications how many papers do you think that are focused in the experience of the patients? Uh, no, All no. of them, 50 no. percent, less no, no, than less, one percent. Less, less, <laughs> less, less, less. In fact, one of the papers that uh, Nina present to you, the, mm -hmm. the survey uh, that we did in seven countries with 1,700 patients, uh, this 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 uh, paper, if you check, you know, in in, uh, in, in, uh, in Google. If you check in Google now, you say, okay, survive from a study patient, you will see that we're in the first, in the first position in the Google. I mean, we don't pay anything. I mean, and is the, you know, the, the, is the, the Rochester University is there, because they are paying, but I mean, uh, and it's the, the first paper published in uh, quality of life of the patients, asking to the patients. And I think that means that, uh, you know, it's not, it's, uh, in our knowledge, in a way, it was nothing. Uh, nothing. I mean, uh, we, when we made the publication, we, we check, you know, and the same when we, we, yeah. we, 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 we published the quality of life of the patients, it was very surprised. For instance, for instance, uh, I can tell you that uh, it was more or less 60% of the patients have cardiovascular problems, hypertension, but 
40%, 40%, they have insomnia. They, can, they cannot sleep during the night. And when we spoke with the people expert in, the, in these problems, you will see the last, the last table that uh, it was done in, the, in Friday, in, in, uh, yes, in Friday, uh, you know, by Dr. STV, uh, that you know, is an excellent expert from, uh, from, the, from, from the sueño, no? And it was nothing. I mean, uh, we, for years, I never see, I never, in my 38 years working in Ostratartes, never see one paper speaking about the, the relationship between between uh, ostatratis uh, and, and insomnia. Uh, insomnia is a it's related cause to, to, yes, to 40 risk. Per, 40%. Yes, 40%. Are we? Uh, it's extremely important, and, and this that, fact. And, and that, that's very important. And mm -hmm. that means, you know, is that uh, OA is not alone. The way are comorbidities, depression, anxiety, cardiovascular problems, insomnia, osteoporosis. Huh? That sometimes doctors say, well, it's a different disease, 40%. In the, in, the, in the survey that the woman that have osteoarthritis have osteoporosis. That means it's not a different, it's a different disease, but the subcontinental blood play an important role. And this is one of the things that we are doing the patients. I mean, asking to the, to the patients, what do you think? How you feel? You know, and uh, like you, I mean, and I think this is very important and this is a new approach. And that's the reason that is very important. Work together, the association of patients, work together with the, the editors of the journals. Because now, for example, you see this morning, you have three important editors. You have one editor of the Lancet. Lancet is the number one in the world. It's the number one, it's Lancet. Second is, is uh, New England Journal of Medicine now. And you have the editor from the Lancet today. You know, and also the BMC is another good journal. I mean, that is very important that each time, even there are resistance, because there are resistance that the patients, uh, we are pushing and pushing, there are resistance, no? Because the, there is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of interest in this issue, no? But each time, we are taking more position. And each time, they are listening too much. Huh? And I think it's a, a, a very important challenge. That's the reason that to work together, you know, it's very important. I don't know if I answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> I make a, you know, like a There politician. are very few, Jose Luis. No, but, really, but it's really. very important, uh, yeah. Jose Luis, mm -hmm. to do this kind of work, very important. Mm -hmm. To ask the real patients. I always, I ask an, an example, and now I yeah. am finished, no? Because you know, uh, yeah, but for are. example, you know, we, we make a, an, a survey to the patients about what the color the patients like it, in OA. And for they like the blue color. And I mean, if you go to the OA patients with a red color, they don't like it, the red color. And the question is, somebody asked to the patients, what like the color do you like to the capsules? No. But why you ask to the patients, what is the color of the capsules? And you, we don't know why, but they like blue. Please. Uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies use the blue capsules to the patients because the patients like the blue color. No, it's, it's an example, no? It's an example, yeah. but you can do a lot of examples, no? Yeah. yeah. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> it's a positive, maybe it's the sea, maybe, you know, in the Spanish, you, uh, the buen rollo, buen rollo. You said, I think we have another question right there, okay, and the then we finish, so the, the we have the, to move on. The, <laughs> so please. The, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, my question is related, um, you spoke comorbidity between physical and mental aspects. Um, and my main focus of investigation is like mental aspects, but not as a consequence, but as a cause. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, epigenetics, uh, why would emotional trauma trigger chronic diseases? So I would like to know if you do have like transnational uh, research groups and studies within these aspects, or does each country work? And in each area, because I mean, awareness to mental aspects and epigenetics is only rising very slowly. Do you see differences between countries? A good question. Or? Very good question. Uh, I, I'm know, so, I'm sorry, yes. uh, I think I, I think uh, it's a good question. Uh, I think I think uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it's uh, my perception, mm, but this is very hypothetical issue. We don't have data to to verify. To verify. My perception that uh, in, in general, in Europe, yeah, in Europe, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, more or less is the same. Uh, and, um, and probably, United States is another issue because uh, in the United States, there's a lot of obesity. I mean, this is a lot of, more than here. Uh, yeah. But I don't know, but I think I think uh, could be the same, but we don't have data. That's the reason that it's very important working together to say if in France, the, the, the woman with OA, new OA, has the same, 
that in, in, in Spain or, or you know, in other countries, no? I think this is one, one word that must be done, no? Must mm -hmm. be done. Yeah. Huh? Uh, but it's an excellent question. I think it's a word that must be done, and we will we do it soon. One final question, the, the and question. then we stop yeah, this, <laughs> this conference. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, uh, I think it's very important to emphasize one point. Comorbidities are important, but they are not only the problem. The problem, the, the main problem is that osteoarthritis is not a disease, it's a group of different entities. Mm -hmm. So that is important to understand that every patient needs a diagnosis in according what kind of osteoarthritis mm -hmm. and because the treatments are different. Mm -hmm. And the problems in the publications, uh, the publications and in clinical trials is that include all the patients with osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. inflammatory, mechanic, osteoporotic, Meta metabolic osteoarthritis, and the treatment that they need are different, but they receive all the receive same. the same treatment, Absolutely and that is agree. The, the, the really problem. Absolutely agree. Totally Absolutely agree. agree. Mm -hmm. uh, it's patients are, are different, and also you know very well because you are excellent rheumatologist, and you will explain no later uh, <laughs> about that. I mean, uh, is that um, even the way is different in each in each. We, we, we say in the specialist organ. I mean, it's not the same knee that, uh, for example, hip or fingers. It's a different disease. Yes. Uh, and I think this is a very important issue, and, and you probably tomorrow, no? Or no today, today. <laughs> today you will speak about that, no? Oswaldo? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I recommend the, the <laughs> conference. I recommend. Huh? Okay, then. Okay, uh, so thank you very thank much, you and thank you very much. Ah, well, say what? something, yes. please? Uh, well, I want to thank everybody. Uh, this is my third visit, and the president uh, came with me this Thank year you. because we have uh, started a very good collaboration. I find the people very nice. I'm going to learn Spanish <laughs> because I can't do otherwise. <laughs> and um, now we, are, we belong to Dr. Verges' fan club. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Claude. Thank you, thank you Francois. Uh, you say something, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to you. Uh, we are very happy that you stay and you do very well. Thank you very yeah, much. We can go next, next table. Huh?